a tennis ball is thrown straight up with the initial speed of 22.5 meters per second. It is caught at the same distance above the ground. How high does the ball rise and how long does the ball remain in the air? This problem is about free fall. Free fall is uniformly accelerated motion and the acceleration of free fall equals 9.80 meters per second squared. The initial speed of the tennis ball is V initial 22.5 meters per second. How high does the ball rise? Let H stands for height. How long does the ball remain in the air? Let T stays for duration of the free fall. Let's make a picture. This is initial and final position of the ball. The ball is thrown at a speed V initial directed vertically. It rises, reaches the height H above the ground and then returns to the same height. This process takes T seconds for the ball to return. Acceleration G is 9.80 and directed downward. So let's use the coordinate system directed the same direction as initial velocity, upward. The origin is at initial height, zero. X-axis. This coordinate is H. Let's consider three positions of the ball. The first position, starting position. The second position, at the point, the point when its coordinate is h, and the final position, 3. So, since this movement is uniformly accelerated movements, we can write two formulas for the component of displacement of the ball. The first, Sx equals V initial x t plus a x t squared over 2. The second formula is S x equals V final x squared minus V initial x squared divided by 2 accelerations 
square, uh, two accelerations, two components of accelerations. This is formula A, this is formula B. Now let's consider the displacement of the ball between the first and the second position. The displacement is a vector from starting point to final point. So x, uh, s, 1, 2 vector. We know that here the speed of the ball is zero. So let's use the B formula. In this formula Vx equals zero final velocity. V initial x is V initial magnitude. And acceleration, component of the acceleration, since x is directed upward but g is directed downward, so ax equals minus g. And substitute these. these values into this formula. By the way, sx, the main, sx equals h. This s1, 2. Like this. So we have, instead of x, uh, sx, we write h. Instead of the x, we write zero. Instead of vix initial x, we write v initial squared, and instead of two ax, we write minus two g. And finally, we can write h equals v initial squared over 2g. This is the answer to the question how high does the ball rise? The next. How long does the ball remain in the air? The starting point is one, the second position is two, the final position is three. So, the whole displacement from this point to this point, S, one, two, three, equals zero. And now, since this formula contains T, Let's use the formula A. Sx gives zero. The starting point and the final point are the same points. Ax gives minus g, so we can write 
0 equals v initial t minus g t squared over 2. These two common factors should be taken out of brackets. 0 equals t times v initial minus g t over 2. There are two roots of this equation. Of this equation. 1 t equals 0. Uh, this factor 0. This is the moment of a start movement for the starting point. And the second point 1. And these brackets are is 0 v initial minus g t over 2 equals 0 ending point point 3. Let's use this formula. So you can see g t over 2 equals v initial. Hence t equals twice initial speed over free fall acceleration. the answer to the second question. Let's calculate result, the results. H equals 22.5 squared meters squared over seconds squared times 2 times 8 uh, 9.80 meters per second squared so second squared divides out meters partly divides out and we have a result in meters Let's calculate 22.5 squared divided by 2 divided by 9.8 gives 25.8298 and so on. We must round this result to three significant digits. So we can write 25.8 meters. This is the height. How long does the ball remain in the air? Use this formula. T equals twice 22.5 meters per second over 9.8 meters per second squared. 
meters and meters divides out divide out seconds partly divide out, divide out so result is in seconds it equals 2 times 22.5 over 9.8 gives 4.59183 and so on. When you round to three significant digits, you should write 4.59183. Seconds. This is time, this is height. The problem is solved.